What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our Pac-12 football channel. Cal had a decent schedule in 2019 playing Ole Miss in the non-conference. Also, they played Utah on the road at Utah in their cross-divisional, one of their cross-divisional matchups against the South. Uh, so all in all, yeah, the schedule was, was pretty decent for Cal. Didn't really play any powerhouse programs in the non-conference or anything like that. Uh, and then, of course, had their Pac-12 schedule. Let's look at the 2020 schedule for the Golden Bears. And here it is. They open up on August 29th. So they actually play on week zero. They will be one of the few teams to play on week zero, August 29th. They play on the road at UNLV. And then a pretty big non-conference matchup on September 5th against TCU at home. This will be a really intriguing matchup. A rematch from the famous Cheez-It Bowl from a couple of years ago. I don't know if you guys remember that game. It was a game where uh, we saw about the worst quarterback play that you may have ever seen in a Division I college football game. It was it was pretty ugly. Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit better this time around. Maybe a little bit more offense, but should be two pretty good defenses again. Uh, they'll play again on September the 5th and then Cal Poly on September 12th. Then they'll get a bye week. They actually have two bye weeks because of the fact that they play in week zero. But they'll get a bye week after Cal Poly before playing Utah. They're going to want some revenge in that one after a beatdown last year. They get them at home this year. Should be a really good matchup, I think, for Cal. I think they'll have a good shot at winning that game this time. Uh, Washington State on October the 3rd on the road. October the 10th, they'll go on the road to play USC. And then it's a home game against Oregon on October 17th. So arguably the top two teams in the Pac-12, USC and Oregon, they will play them back-to-back. -back. Uh, that is pretty a pretty tough stretch there. Oregon State after that on October 24th. That game is on the road. And then Washington on Halloween, October 31st. That'll be a home game for Cal. November 7th, they'll play on the road at Arizona State. That'll be a tough matchup there as well. And then they'll have their second bye week on November 14th. They will not play that weekend. And then finish up with two home games on November 21st. They'll play Stanford at home. And then on the Friday after Thanksgiving, November 27th, they will play UCLA at home. So you look at this schedule. Again, in the non-conference, not too bad playing TCU. That's a pretty even matchup in my opinion. They, out of the South, will play USC, who I think is, is the top team in the South this year. Utah, Arizona State, really the top three teams maybe out of the South. Uh, and if, if UCLA, they could finish number four. They could potentially be playing the top four teams out of the South. They don't get to play Colorado, who is a team I think you probably would want to play this year. So the conference schedule is pretty tough for Cal. And again, it's going to be a tough stretch there in the middle of October with USC and Oregon back to back. If they could win one of those two games, uh, they could really build some momentum, though. And who knows, potentially make a run at the Pac-12 North Championship. Obviously, you'd want to beat Oregon to have a better shot to do that so you can have the tiebreaker. Um, and they get them at home, so maybe there's a shot there for Cal. I think this is going to be a good team, uh, and I think the schedule is not great for Cal, but it's not horrible. Uh, at least it is. I mean, it is one of the tougher conference schedules, but the non-conference schedule is not horrible. Uh, so we'll see if they can manage this schedule and get through the Pac-12 and maybe, just maybe, be a contender in the Pac-12 North in 2020.